Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use Crisp with Google Meet. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in Google Meet and this is how the home page looks like. So right here in the center of the page, you're going to find the option to start a new meeting. And right here, you can enter a code or invite link to join a meeting. So right now we're going to click on new meeting and then right here we're going to find three options create a meeting for later start an instant meeting and schedule a meeting in google calendar go ahead and click on start an instant meeting so right now we're joining meeting and right here as you can see guys you're going to find the link generated you can copy this link and send that to people you want to invite or you can click on add others and then Choose people from your friend list to invite them. So once you're here, as you can see guys, here in the bottom, you're gonna find all of the tools that you will need in the meeting. So right here, you're gonna find the option to mute or unmute your mic. Here you can turn off or turn on your camera. You can turn on captions. You can send a reaction, present now. Here you're gonna find the option to raise hand. And right here, you're gonna find some more options like changing layout, full screen, open picture in picture, apply visual effects, turn on caption, report problem, report abuse, troubleshooting and help. And here you're going to find settings. So if you click on settings right here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find your audio settings, video settings, general settings, captions, and lastly, reactions. So go ahead and click on audio settings. And then here you're going to find microphone. Go ahead and click on it. And then you should find crisp right here in this list. So just click on crisp. And you can also switch this one to crisp. And then once you finish, just quit the settings. And then all of your changes will be saved. So this is it, guys, for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.